Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and let's continue with this series on Python. So till this point we have covered a lot of stuff, right? We know how to work with IDLE now, we know how to perform some operations and in this video we'll try to work with operators. Now one of some of the operators we have used, right? We have worked with arithmetic operators which is your addition, subtraction, division, right? Now we also have some more operators which we are going to say in this video. So we'll talk about arithmetic operators, assignment operators, relational operators and logical operators and we have one more which is unary operator so let's start with arithmetic in fact we have seen arithmetic right we have worked with addition subtraction they are very simple right so in fact we have done that before so i'll be using some variables here let's say x equal to 2 and y is equal to 3 so we got two variables and i want to perform certain operations and we can do that right we have done that before so you, you can say x plus y you can say x minus y uh, x multiply by y i guess i just pressed 4 by mistake and then when you say x divided by y even that works you can see we got the output so this is how you work with arithmetic operators we have also seen how to use modulus now next one is assignment and now you know right how assignment works we can simply say x equal to 8 and that's your assignment operator so whenever you use equal to symbol that's assignment but then let's try to do something else what if i say i can add two numbers like x equal to x plus 2 so what i'm doing here is i'm adding the value x itself with 2 so which means if my x value is let's say 2 plus 2 which is 4 right that's what i get that's what i'm expecting here so if i say x we got 4. Now the same operation you can do in a shortcut way. You know, we love shortcuts. So here also we have some shortcuts, which is if you want to do the same thing, you can say X. I want to increment. Okay, what is increment? Enhancing the values. So you will say X plus. I want to increment myself with two. So you can say X plus equal to two. So you are incrementing yourself by two. And now if I say X, you can see we got the value which is six. So which is, so X was four initially, and then I'm incrementing by two again. So which we got six. So instead of saying X equal to X plus two, we can say X plus equal to two. The same thing can be done with subtraction, division, multiplication. Let's try. So we'll say X multiply equal to 3. So what we are doing is we are multiplying x by itself. So x is 6 now and when you say 6 into 3 we got 18. Uh, is that? Yes, that's right. <laughs> okay, so this thing is working. You can do shorthand as well. You can try division and subtraction by yourself. Can we do assignment like this? Let's say we have two variables here a and b. I want to assign value let's say 5 and 6 to a and b. So we, we can write in two lines, right? We can say a equal to 5 and b equal to 6 or you can do that in one line. You can say a comma b is equal to 5 comma 6. So you can do assignment in one line itself. So if I say enter, there is no error. If I try to fetch the value of a which is 5, if you want to try, try to fetch the value of b which is 6. So yes, you can assign the values in one line for two variables. So that's about assignment operator. Now with this, let's move towards the next operator which is a unary operator. Now when I say unary operator, it means one, right? So we have binary concept, which is two. Uh, unary is one. Now, how do you work with unary operator? Which one we can use? So let's say we have this concept of negation, right? Example, if I have a value which is seven, if I want to negate it. So what I will do is I will use a variable which is n is equal to seven. So we got n as seven. Now we can also use so now we can negate it with the help of minus n. So when you say minus n, so if I, if, I, if I say the value of n, it's still 7, right? So what you can do is if you want to assign the negative value, you can say n is equal to minus n. And if I say enter, and if I print the value of n now, which is minus 7. So you can, you know, put a negative sign just by giving a unit operator, which is, which is minus. So that's your arithmetic operators, assignment and unity. The next two operators which we have is, or two kind of operators which we have is, logical operators and relational operators. Let's start with relational first. Now what is relational? Now in fact we have done one of the thing before right in one of this one of the video where we can compare two numbers or we can compare two stuff so smaller greater right or compare equal to so let's try here so again we'll go for two variables here which is a and b which we have done before and of course the value of a is 5 and the value of b is 6. So can I do this? I want to check if A is less than B. So you can say A is less than B and answer is yes, right? Because A is five and B is six. So when I say enter now, it says true. And if you remember, we have done that in Boolean. Uh, so it returns a true and false. So we, when you use this angular symbol, it's less than. We can also use greater than symbol. 
right? Now, what if the value of A and B, of course, they're not same. So how do you check for this say, comparison if they're same? In, because see, we cannot use single, single equal to, because single equal to means you are assigning it. We are not assigning here, we are comparing it. So in that case, you'll be using double equal to, and then you will say B, and you can see we got false. And of course, right, A is five and B is six, so of course it will give you false. Now in that case, what you will do is you will say, uh, let's change the value of A. I will say A is also six. So now B is six, A is six. Let's perform the same, same operation. I will say A is equal to equal to B, and you can see we got true. Now they're same, right? So it, it will give you true. I want to check if A is less than or equal to B. Can we do both at the same time, less than and equal to? Yes, we can. So we can say A less than equal to B. So we can use this symbol. In fact, in maths, we also have a symbol, right? So the same way we have uh, in programming, we can just put uh, less than and equal to. The same thing can be done for greater than equal to. Of course, it's not greater or less, it's equal to. So it will compare either less or equal to. And you can see it works. Now we can also, also check if they're not equal. Now, how do we check not equal? Let's say A is something else and B is something else and I want to check if they, are, if they are not equal. In that case, you will use not equal to B. So not is exclamation. So in programming, remember this thing. Whenever you see exclamation, that's, that's a not symbol. So we got A not equal to B. Uh, if I say enter, you can see we got false. Why false is because your A is equal to B, right? So when you say not equal to, it, it doesn't make sense. It, it is false. But yes, the value of A or B is let's say seven now. So we have A and B with different values. If I perform the same operation, A not equal to B, you can see we got true, right? So these are called as relational because you are trying to relate to different values. The next set we have is logical operators. So before understanding what logical operators are, you need to understand the concept of true and false and relation between. So if you have two conditions and if you want to com and if you want to combine those two conditions, now it can be based on and or it can be based on or or it can be not. So basically we have three operators here and or and not. Now let's say we have two conditions, one related to A, we can say if A let me just clean this shell once. So let's again start with variables. We can say here, we got two variables. We'll say A is equal to five and B is equal to, let's say four. We got two variables, okay? And individually, I want to check their preference. Example, if A is less than eight, and I also want to check B should not be greater than five. How do I check both? And I want to make sure that A should be less than eight and B should be less, less than five. Uh, in that case, you need to, you, we will write two conditions. One is A less than eight and B is less than five. So we have two conditions here. What should I put in between? So in that case, you can use a logical operators, which is and. So I want to compare, I want to check both, right? So I will say and, and you can see we got true because both are true. Now, if, what if I say, I want to check if A is less than eight and B is less than two. What do you think? What is the output? Is it true or false? See, now the first condition is true, right? And the second condition is false because B is not less than two. In that case, you will think, okay, one is true, it should give you true, but unfortunately we get false. Now, why it's the case? Because for, to understand that we have a table here. Now this table is also called a true table. You can represent true with one and false with zero. This is how it looks like. So when you have, let's say we have X and Y, so X represents one condition output and Y represents second condition output. We'll, we'll compare this. So if, if X is zero and Y is zero, because both are false now, in that case, the output would be false, right? Which is zero in this case. If X is zero and Y is one, in that case, you will get again false. So you have to make sure both are true. Then only you will get true. And you can see the last one now. So when you have the last row where you have one and one, then you will get one. So if both the conditions are true, then only you will get true. That's the property of and. Now the same thing can be done for or. We also have or. Now this is how your or to table looks like. Now in all what we have is, so we have the same table. If you get at least one condition true, the resultant condition will also be true. Right, so in this case, if I, if I do the same thing, but not with and, with or, you can see the first condition is true, second is false, in that case, you will get true. So because at least one is true, so both uh, the output will be true. So that's how your and and or works. We can also use a not here. Now what is not? Not basically reverses your output. Example, let's say if I say uh, x is equal to true, because that's a resultant thing, right? Okay, my bad. So if I say x is equal to 
true so we got a true value right and if i print x you got true but if i want to negate it what i will do is i will use not x in that case you will say you, you got false right so you can reverse the operation you can reverse a thing with with the help of not uh, in fact you can say x equal to not x now so the value of x is false so initially the value of x was true now you are making it false so that's how you can use not now this is a logical operation okay so when you have conditions and if you want to compare two conditions that's where we use logical operators and or or not again you will be using this a lot in the further videos when we talk about you know different loop patterns uh, we want to print something and then we will do some amazing stuff uh, in that amazing stuff we'll be using all these things uh, just a reminder whatever we are doing now is just a foundation for you so that you can work on complex codes right uh, so be with me we'll we'll have amazing fun in future videos so i hope you're enjoying this series let me know in the comment section and that's it thank you so much for watching everyone Bye bye